Fruity, 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 Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Fruity Fruits, where I taste fruits that are fruity. Today's fruit isn't that fruity, though. <laughs> it is the beautiful pineapple. But today, specifically, I'm going to attempt to do the pineapple peeling. Now, if you haven't seen this little video, I believe it went viral on TikTok first and then on Twitter where I discovered it. So what you see in the video is the pineapple partially eaten and you see the core exposed inside and then the person eating the pineapple just removes each one of these little segments at a time and eats it that way. Amazing, right? Never seen that before. So I'm gonna to attempt to peel the pineapple. I have three examples of pineapples here in different states of ripeness. Last night I discovered an Eater article, I'll put the link down below, that explained how this could be done. So number one, they said it was not very easy to do. Number two, there might be a specific variety of pineapple that was used in that video called a snack pine. I believe it's a Japanese variant of the pineapple, which might make it easier to separate. And thirdly, they said that the pineapple should be very ripe. So what I did was I went to the grocery store and I got three different pineapples in three various states of ripeness. I'm going to try the ripest one first. So how do you pick a good pineapple? I typically pick pineapples that look kind of like this. There's a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of green on the top. I personally don't like my pineapples overly ripe. They get too soft, a little bit mushy, and a little bit too sweet. So I go for something like this. You don't want any, any softness at the bottom. You want a little bit of yellow coloring, but I like a little bit of green on top. So in this one, you can see there's just a little bit of yellow here, but this is more green. This is a more unripe version. Now this one is the ripest one I could find. And as you can see, the yellow coloring goes almost all the way to the top. So pineapples, scientific name is Ananas cumosus. So pineapples are bromeliads. They're in the bromeliaceae family and they are indigenous to South America. So I discovered a really interesting blog called Botanist in the Kitchen. And that's where I got a lot of this information. Just simple anatomy here, this top portion here with the leaves is called the crown and what's very interesting about a pineapple is it's actually a number of fruits together technically it's a berry so fruit comes from flowers the ovary develops into a fruit that's what we eat so each one of these is a fruit and this little flap here is called a bract and if we pull this back spot here is called the eye or the flower cup then that's what gets pollinated to create the fruit beneath it so this entire pineapple consists of 50 to 200 individual fruits that have come together to form this pineapple isn't that amazing i love that what's also very cool is the arrangement of these fruits is in a spiral so these take 5 to 12 months to ripen so historically this was a status symbol because it was difficult to get and because it took so long to actually ripen alrighty so that's the beautiful pineapple I love this fruit if you haven't already noticed now let's go ahead and attempt to peel it <laughs> so if this whole thing doesn't work out I'm still gonna show you how to peel a pineapple I'm gonna show you two different methods number one being my father's technique that he showed me it was absolutely beautiful it's a little bit more labor-intensive and number two the one that I use when I just want pineapple to eat so I've seen two videos on this pineapple peeling and based on the direction of the bracts, it looks like you can do it from either the bottom or the top. Let's remove the crown first and I'll just try it both ways. I'm gonna use a paring knife. I'm gonna establish a little bit of a border here, cutting in between each individual fruit, kind of giving me a little perimeter here. Now I'm gonna pull this right off. Now, if you want to find a little experiment, you can just take this crown and stick it in some potting soil and water it, and this will actually grow into a new plant. I, this last year totally worked. You can see the little individual fruits that are connected by this core. And in the video, they just show them, you know, plucking it apart. In the Eater, they said that you could try rolling it to kind of separate it a bit. Thumbs here to kind of push on this. See if I can separate the fruits a bit. Ooh, there's a little bit. The fruits look like they're pretty tight on the top, but I'm thinking it'll be easier on the bottom. So you can kind of, ooh, look, I got one right there. So delicious. Indeed, it's kind of difficult to separate each one of these little, you can kind of use your nail and kind of pull it apart. But it's not really coming off as satisfyingly as they do show in the video. If we compare the green section here, which is less ripe, it doesn't want to separate very easily. 
But if we go the yellow part, that's a little bit more ripe, it does want to separate more. And just use your thumb, and then you can indeed pull it apart. It works! Mm -hmm. Because the side is going to be more ripe, I'm going to do it from the bottom. I'm going to go around each one of these fruits. Pineapples contain an enzyme called bromelain, and it is a protein dissolving enzyme. So you'll find that sometimes when you cut pineapple, your hands will feel kind of slippery, and that is the enzymes working on your skin. <laughs> but those same enzymes can be used as a meat tenderizer. Excellent for tenderizing meat, but you don't want the meat to sit in there too long, otherwise it kind of breaks down the tissue and you get kind of a mushy textured product, which isn't so great. Okay, take that off. And indeed, it comes off in the little segments, yes. I noticed in one of the videos that I watched, which was more of an ASMR video, the segments definitely looked like they had been separated. Like someone took a little knife and went around and kind of scored it, because when you see them eating it, there's already a gap. Like they, they're like, oh, look how easy. But if you have a really ripe pineapple, it does separate that way. You just kind of push it with your thumb and you get the little segments just like that. So the reason why this works is because anatomically, a pineapple consists of many, many fruits combined together around the central core. You push it and then you just peel it. It's actually very messy. <laughs> Using a knife and just eating it with a fork or a toothpick is much easier to do than making this kind of a mess. So let me show you the way my dad likes to peel the pineapple. This way he says saves a little bit more fruit. You don't have as much waste when you're peeling the outside of the pineapple. So first we're going to cut off the crown and we're going to cut the base off as well. Shave off the outside of the pineapple, which exposes the eyes. So these eyes are actually called the flower cups. And if we see inside, you can see the parts of the flower where the fruit needs to be pollinated to turn into a pineapple. Isn't that great? Now that the eyes are all exposed, we can see this beautiful spiral arrangement of the flowers or fruits around the pineapple. Remove the eyes following this kind of spiral pattern all the way around the pineapple. Okay, keep going. We just cut it down the middle. And there's the beautiful core right there. We don't want to eat that, that can be a little bit woody. So you just cut it down this way, cut it this way, cut it this way. You just cut it into pieces like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I'm going to show you another way to cut a pineapple, and this is going to be my technique. It's pretty much the same technique as my dad's, except I take off more of the skin. You can also do this with a bread knife. With this technique, you just go a little bit deeper, so you actually cut out the eyes. Now we're gonna cut it in half, cut it into wedges, remove the core, and again, bite-sized pieces. I could eat pineapple for like ever. Mmm. So there you have it, pineapple, one of my favorite fruits and three different ways to eat it. Pineapple peeling does work, although I really wouldn't recommend it because there are easier ways. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a special technique to eat or peel your pineapple, if you have some special recipe. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out the Fruity Fruits playlist for more interesting fruity fruits. And yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye! <laughs>